two thirds of our people, you ain't good for nothing. That's why we went to captivity, behind the ones that followed the way of the heathen. They follow, they say, this is the way you're supposed to believe, and you believe that way, that's why your brain is polluted. You've been programmed not to believe in your power. You ain't got no power. If you did, then why are we, why are we still in the condition we in? How are we gonna get out of this condition? Did they tell you that? They teach you that? No, they ain't taught you nothing of that. They taught you how to be an individualist, how to be all brainiac yourself, but you can't help your brother do nothing. Because he can't relate to what you're saying. <laughs> Five years, you know what I mean? Enough. Yeah. We don't get all this time, and look where we at. I mean, we all in the same boat. Ain't nobody above nobody. We all in the same boat. You see what I'm saying? Read. Verse 9. For the most high portion is his people. The most high portion is his people, Rick. Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. Jacob is the lot of the most high's inheritance. Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. You can't get around it. A covenant is a contract, mm -hmm. is an agreement, right? Like these, all these churches have their covenant on the wall. This is what we believe in. This is who the covenant was given to, point blank. Psalms 105, 8 to 10. Point blank. Then we're going to go back and show you what we did. Because we didn't follow him, and you're not taught to follow him right now. That's why you don't really care about him, as you should. Most of you don't know the most high, who we're talking about. You done created your own power. Right. You created your own power. It ain't doing nothing for you. Ain't doing nothing for us, I might say, because it ain't about me, you. It's about us, the children of Israel. How we gonna come out of this hell hole that we in right now? And that's what it's all about, man. Read. Psalm chapter 105, verse 8. He had remembered his covenant forever. How long? Forever. No, he only remembered during the time that we was dealing with him and following his law, statute, commandment. He said, what? He, rem he had remembered his covenant forever. He remembered his covenant forever, read. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. He remembered his contract, his agreement with the children of Israel to a thousand generations, read. Which covenant he made with Abraham. He made it with Abraham. And his oath unto Isaac. Abraham had Ishmael, didn't he? And he had Isaac and his, at 100 years old. And Sarah was 99 years old. This the most high we serve. He remembered his covenant with Abraham, his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob. And confirmed the same to Jacob. Isaac had Esau and Jacob, but the most high chose Jacob. He confirmed the same to Jacob, read, for a law, for a law, read, and to Israel, to Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, read, for an everlasting covenant, for an everlasting covenant, everlasting contract with us, man. We are the children of Israel. We are the people of the book. That's why they wouldn't allow us to read. But they programmed you to read what they wanted you to read. Right, right. So that's so you think like they want you to think. And walk around and have all these, you know, different traditions of men. That's it. You follow the tradition of men. Who taught you your education? Where your curriculum come from? Who taught it? Was it us? No, it wasn't us. Else you would know who you are. Right. We'd have told you who you are. No, they don't want this to get out. No. They spend a whole lot of money to keep you ignorant. A diabolical plan, like brother say, you're African American. I mean, come on. You weren't African American in the 50s or 60s, 70s. That just came out. Because we was Afro-American before we was African-American, right? We was colored, we was half-breed, we was all these different names, man. Come on. We the only people that they got to vote to be able to allow us to vote. Because we the children of Israel. And all the children of Israel come from the tribe of Judah. Straight up. The waters of Judah. They come from us. We say people, everybody come from us. But it ain't from no African. Yo, our spirit ain't like no African. Read. Get uh, go back to Jeremiah 17, 4. So this is what we're looking at. The Most High had a contract with our forefather Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to the 12 tribes of Israel, who we are. Point blank. You are an Israelite. That's who you are, brothers and brothers and sisters. That's who we are. Nobody can gainsay on this. Else they would challenge us against what we're saying. Where the preachers at? Where the poor chop preachers that believe what they believe? Why they never challenge us? 
with the knowledge of the Bible, with the knowledge of history, with the knowledge of archaeology, anthropology, and so forth, and philosophy, <laughs> and lies that they have taught in a false education, in a false religions, and so forth. They will bring it forth. And this, I'm not boasting, it's just the fact that it's, it's, it's a damn time that our people wake up out of sleep, man, and stop following what it is that you've been programmed to believe. That ain't did a damn thing for us. What it did for us? Come on, all they do is take your money and make it like the brother was trying to act like both sides are all love. A loving God, yeah, he is love. He love to bless you and he love to whoop your ass and put you to death. And ass in the Bible too. <laughs> Most I made an ass talk. <laughs> he called it. He, he said. He said the ox know of his owner. And the ass is master's crib. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but Israel does not consider. See. Read this. Jeremiah chapter seventeen verse four. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. We discontinue from our heritage the land of Israel that the Most High gave us. Read. That I ha that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. What do you say? Gonna cause us to do? Serve thine enemies. They gonna cause us to serve our enemies. Read. And the land which thou knowest not. That's why we came on these ships, man. Come over here. They took us. That's right. Brought us to a new land, Osiret. Right here, all the This is what happened to us. Deuteronomy 28, 49. He said, going to cause us to serve our enemies in a land which we know if not. You didn't know what you're going to end up when you got up the, the holes of them, them slave ships. We didn't know where we was going. But we end up over here, and we're still here. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. And the Most High shall bring a nation against thee from far. He's going to send a nation from far against us. Read. From the end of the earth. July 4th, 1776, they get ready to, you know, honor their Independence Day. And a lot of y'all gonna hit, honor it with them. We was enslaved in 1776. We ain't got enough sense to realize lynching. We was, we was the fireworks being lit up. <laughs> you talking about some fireworks? They lit us up on 4th of July. <laughs> Read it again. And the Most High shall bring a nation against thee from far. From far, man, read. From the end of the earth. The ends of the earth. Way over here in this western hemisphere, read. As swift as the eagle flyeth. I give us a sign of the nation that's going to come and get us. This sign is what? As swift as the eagle fly flyeth. As the eagle flyeth. That's the so-called white man. Uh, that's his symbol, the eagle, the bald eagle. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Pow! Your name is Toby. My name is Kutakite. Pow! Hitting them in the back. It's whipping them. My name is Kutakite. Pow! Your name is Toby. Be a good nigger. Say your name, nigger. Pow! Beating them. My name is Kutakite. Beat him some more. Pow! Your name is Toby. That's a good name, nigger. That's a good name. My name is Toby. I'm Toby. Toby is my name. As everybody watched him get beat down. Yep. A language we didn't understand, man. So we spoke Hebrew. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the most shall sin against thee in hunger. You want something to eat, we gotta get it from our enemy. Who's our enemy? The same way we were sold to, as it said in Deuteronomy 28 and 68, to be bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave women. Therefore shall we serve our enemies. You want something to eat? You eating, you eating, eating those chips, right? Who it come from? We, we, we manufactured it? Nope, it come from the so-called white man. Me? And in thirst. You want something to drink? You got the water? They control the water. Right? Yeah, we get it from them. Me? And in nakedness. You want some clothes? Our clothes, no matter how it look, it still come from him. He, we don't have no textile, textile mills. We don't, we're not growing our own cotton. With our textile mills, we can go to each other and say, okay, well, I need some, some uh, linen. 100% linen. 100% linen. I need some 100% cotton. Man, we all abomination of doing what we're doing and wearing what we wear. So 
we gotta always repent. We ain't supposed to be mixing all these materials together. They got polyester and everything. You know what I mean? The Jews don't know that. Yeah, right. The Jews own that. The Jewish people. We the Jews. They the Jewish. I just say to suffix me to pertain to being like you and me. They wish they were the Jew. <laughs> right. They're not truly the Jews, you know what I mean? We are. Really? And in one of all things. In one of all things, man. One of all things. Here we are looking at, okay, well, where we gonna get it from? We gonna get it, gotta get it from them, our enemy. Really? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He'll put a yoke of iron upon our neck. You see it? That yoke of iron, man, he put upon our neck, right? Until he have destroyed thee. Until he have what? Destroyed thee. He destroyed us, man. And that's what happened to us. You know? He put a yoke of iron upon our neck. A physical yoke of iron upon our neck. So we couldn't run and we would get caught in the trees and we try to escape. Bells on our neck, big old long, long, uh, I know it's on, yeah man, big old long bars man with bells on the end so we run, we would get caught in the trees, you know what I mean? Easy to catch. But now, Hosea 4 and 6, this why, this how he destroyed us now. This how we destroy it now, man. He put that he put that yoke of iron on our neck. He programmed us to follow him in his curriculum. So you wouldn't know who you are. You wouldn't have a clue. He gave us false religions, gave us false politics, gave us false educations. So that you don't you be brain polluted. It'll be hard for you to really receive the most high. Because he don't never, he ain't gonna never know the most high. As it is written. Excuse me. So how's he gonna teach you of your power when all the gods of the nations are idols? He knows it. The Most High told us not to follow their ways, and that's why we are in the, in the condition that we're in right now, man. As a people. Let's read. Hosea chapter four, verse six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. His people is destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Yeah, because you reject the knowledge and you believe in your way that you've been programmed to think, Ray. I will also reject thee. You've been rejected by the most high. A lot of you are a bunch of rejects because you you don't want to deal with the most high. You are you your own most high in your mind. But you can't really do the things that you want to do because you don't have no power to rely on but yourself. That's it. I mean, that's selfish, because you're just about yourself, man. We're about our people. The Most High said he loved Jacob. He loved us, but we don't love each other. But we're destroying ourselves, man, one way or another. You say what? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Yeah, because you reject the knowledge, he said he's going to reject you, so you'll be a bunch of rejects. Hold that, get a, a Proverbs 1 and 7. It's very important that you see that it's very important to know and understand the knowledge of the Most High. This Bible. He said because you reject knowledge, he's going to reject you. Proverbs 1 and 7. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Most High, to be afraid, to be scared of the Most High, is the beginning of knowledge. But you done said the Most High is all loving. Right. He's all loving. But I can show you that everything that happened, man, he get praised for. Because it's him. He the one that's bringing it down. And can't nobody deny that. Ain't no Mother Nature. Ain't no El Nicho, Nino. Ain't no La Nina. Little boy, little girl. It's the Most High. He create good, he create evil, he create whatever, peace, war, whatever it is. He gets the praise for everything, but you don't know him. Because you just think, he, are you, like I told the brother, you ain't all love. Somebody come up here and smack you right now, you're going to say, oh, thank you, thank you. And we made an image of the Most High? Come on. We made it his image? That means we're going to supposed to follow what he says do. Point blank, no more. He gave us rules and regulations. We follow him, he's going to bless us. You don't, I'm going to tear your butt up. <laughs> Point play, till you get it right. And that's what we've been going through as a people. Nobody else can say they went through what we've been through. Nobody. Read. 
but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Yeah, fools. He called you a fool because you, you despise wisdom, the proper application of knowledge and instruction, instructing you what to do to make it to the kingdom. That's all we're talking about, y'all. We got a kingdom that's prepared for us. And if we come back to the Most High's rules and regulation, which is his law, statute, commandments, then you're going to have your spot in the kingdom. Y'all talking about people dying, they went to heaven. Prove it. That's never been proven in the Bible at all. That's a lie. Anybody ever came back and said, I, I went, I went, for, yeah, from the wickedest person in the world, the most wicked in all the land. <laughs> Taught y'all that. And you repeating it. That's from the religious instruction to the Negroes. Turn to your neighbor and say this. So when we turn to each other, and you repeat whatever they taught us to say, right? That's what we've done. We've done it all our life, man. We're going to take something that you learn from them. Point blank. Read. Back to Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, you don't fear the most high. Our people ain't fear, I tell you what. Wait till the most I start shaking this place. Like they got that movie out, San Grayers. Fuck. When the most I start shaking this place, and it's going to be shaking so hard that you ain't going to know what to do, you're going to remember these words, man. He said, because they have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So you don't want to fear the most high? He said, I'm going to reject you. Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me. You ain't going to better teach this Bible at all. You ain't going to better talk about this Bible at all. Read. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. The what? The law of thy power. You have forgotten the Most High's law. Speaking of the man, here he is. <laughs> That's right. Forgotten the law of the Most High, man. Read. I will also forget thy children. So all somebody got to do is read that. And they say, oh, yeah, we, we're not under the law. Teach them children of Israel, all of them, that they ain't got to follow the Most High. And that's what you taught in the church, man. Follow us. Right. Follow us, right. Follow the white man. Follow these, these uh, pro-chop eating preachers that program with the cemetery school. I ain't saying cemetery. It's cemetery school because they, they program to, to keep you as a dead Israelite. Dead in the mind, not knowing what you're supposed to know. Straight up. They program them to teach you to be ignorant. Man, I don't read the Bible. You want to keep something must they always said? Put it in the book. Yeah. Right? Right? That's right. Some of y'all down here read more than the people in the regular world. Like your brother, he had a lot of knowledge from Esau. Logic. Yeah, he Logic. He reminded me of someone else. He, he, he was quoting it. Yeah, whatever he was quoting, but I mean, what good is it? What good is it if you can't understand what I'm saying? If you, if you, brother talking to you, you don't know what he's saying. What difference do it make? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you know something, you don't really know anything. That's why you gotta move on. Cause the Bible is sealed. The most I don't want everybody to get this. That's why it's only one third that we look it out for. Of these twelve tribes of Israel, and they gonna come back. And we scattered among all nations. So it ain't about no black, no brown, no colored, and all that stuff. It's about who is Israel. The spirit gonna bear witness with the spirit. Read. As, as they were increased. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. And we were increased in number. We sin against the Most High, man. That's why we're in the condition that we're in, because we sin against him. And you're taught to sin against him if you're taught that you're not under his law. Do you understand this? You're taught, we're not under the law, but we're in the mercy and grace. That's what they tell you in church. These Pope Chop Eating preachers telling you that, so they're telling you, you don't gotta follow the Most High's rules and regulations, but you gotta follow the law of the land. So who are they telling you is more important? The law of the land or the most high? Read that again. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. So what is sin? Hold that. What is sin? What is sin? Most of our people don't even know what sin is. Let's define it from the Bible. First John 3 and 4. Talking about water. What's sin? Read. First John chapter three, verse four. Whosoever 
Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. See? Whoever commits sin 